practice now, so so we're quite far down the um, the writing, or at least the conceptualization of all the stories for for season for season two. And so maybe sort of bridging the gap between there, we've got lots of toys and merchandise coming out. We've been we've been checking them out in my family. My, the kids have been really just just enjoying them all. Um, how does that how does that fit into that wider picture for E1 family? Um, I mean, definitely, as we as we all know, when kids fall in love with a property and love a TV series, they want you know to extend the experience beyond simply watching the TV, uh, the TV or the or the tablet content. They want to be able to engage with the characters and um, recreate some of the storylines that they see and invent new ones themselves with these characters which they really love. So two things on that. I mean, when we're developing and creating the TV series, you know, making sure that you have very strong characters with very distinct personalities is key, because then when you extend, um, you know, sort of the, the, the property into toys and licensed goods in general, but toys in particular, you want to make sure that kids will really enjoy recreating stories with these strong characters. So this is how the you know, sort of the licensing and the toys fit into it uh, more more specifically. It's really allowing kids to, um, yeah, enjoy the brand in play and not just in a passive experience. And it seems there's a similarity. I know that E1 family, you, you don't have loads of different shows. You pick a show and you sort of, you go sort of deep and long on it. It feels it's a similar approach to the toys that, Certainly, when we've been talking about them, a lot of the commenters have been like, oh, when are they, re when are they ready? When are they ready? Um, but it seems to have been a decision to sort of get them right and, and not, not launch them until they're all together. Uh, absolutely. It's a very concerted effort. And Just Play really embraced that uh, strategy. So Just Play is our toy partner uh, for, the, for the brand. And they are very well known for being very detailed in their approach to product uh, development. And so you will see on the on the toys themselves that what you probably love about the show, you know, sort of the the um, the patterns that you have on the costumes of the heroes in the show, all of that's been recreated on every single toy that you will have uh, on the on the show. So it takes time to get it just right, and uh, this is what Just Play have been working on with us uh, over the past sort of nine months. And is that is there a collaboration there for Just Play with the show creators? Is there back and forth between the two to make sure that it's, you know that get the gecko behind you, that make sure the gecko looks like gecko? So on, on I mean absolutely. So there, there's a, it's with our product development team at at uh, E1 Family. Um, so they are the ones that ensure that everything that Just Play creates is um, on on brand and is you know sort of faithful to the show. When it comes to the creator of the show and the director of the show, you know, early stages, making sure that uh, that uh, everything's on, you know, on track if you want. And then it's really for the product development team to ensure that in every single detail, it just reflects that creative vision. And are there particular toys in the line that you you sort of hold up and say, this is something that you're most excited about? Um, asking which is your favorite child, I know, but <laughs> I don't yeah, want to Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. I love the I love the smaller figurines and the fact that uh, they are very you know sort of they reflect how cute and aspirational the characters are in the in the actual show um, and indeed the fact that you know despite the fact that they're small that you have all those little details which um, which you will which you will know from the show in terms of patterns and stuff so I, I really like that they were able to do that in those small figurines. The costume character, you know, the costumes are really, you know, fantastic. To be, to be, to be honest, I'm sure that uh, come uh, Halloween there'll be a lot of uh, little PJ characters running around, uh, trick or treating. Yeah, and um, we see a little bit of technology coming in as there's a as a set, isn't there? Light up figurines yeah. that we've seen, um, and I like the the, the, it's the sort of the tech in terms of the articulation of those small figures you're talking about. I wasn't expecting you to be able to move the arms in so many different directions and the legs to be so free moving, but is that is that it's sort of hitting the, the sort of technology beats for these toys? Is that important for young kids these days? 
Yes, I mean, two aspects. I mean, concerning the articulation is really something that Just Play, you know, sort of came to us with and we were thrilled about, you know, the, the fact that on such small figurines they were able to create these articulations and it just sort of um, is testament to the fact that their product development team is really, really strong. And now with regard to the light uh, that was incorporated into some of the figurines, it really is to reflect the fact that sort of lights and the fact that the emblems light up and you know there's these uh, traces of light that you find into the show we really wanted to be able to reproduce that in the in some uh, elements of the toy line so this is where that uh, comes from and, and again just play really stepped up and found a way to um, incorporate this into into some of the toys um, at a you know at a at a price point which is access accessible we, are, we also have some uh, t-shirts, as you can see, that will be available uh, in store in the US this, this fall. And then we also have all sorts of uh, other uh, products and toys, such as the um, you know, matching games um, that you can probably also see. So on the, the night sight game that we, that we also have, you can, you, know, you can put your, those masks on and it will allow, allow you to decode or actually see what otherwise you cannot see on the cards which are in front of you and then you need to match. It's sort of, you need to match sort of a bit of a memory game also. So it's, a, it's combining different prey patterns but adding the, the fact that you can only see some of the images if you're wearing the mask. Nice, like having a superpower. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in terms of when people can get their hands on the toys and the outfits, how, how soon are they going to be in store and which territories are they going to be coming to first? So, I mean, we're definitely going to be doing a global uh, rollout for the for the toys. They will It will start with the US, that, uh, so the US will be the first territory to have the toys and that will be from early October. It will be exclusively at Toys R Us. Uh, this fall and then it will roll out in the rest of retail in the US from uh, 2018, uh, 17, sorry, uh, onwards. And then uh, in the rest of the territory,